Yo guys, welcome back to Leadfoot TV. So you might have seen on Instagram and Facebook that I've um, provisionally sold all the cars. Um, so the Civic went yesterday. Um, I had actually spent a little bit of time tidying it up. So like um, you will have seen in the last video, I put the new door and the wing on it. I finally got the um, the front arch for it and put that all that back together. Um, and I just haven't filmed any videos for the last few weeks because I've just, um, I just couldn't be bothered <laughs> if I'm being totally honest um yeah and it, it's just it was all maintenance stuff and it was it just wasn't very exciting so um yeah basically um I tidied all that up that went yesterday um went to a really nice guy I'm sure he'll look after it so um yeah he's got that now and then the crown which I am currently sat in is provisionally sold um basically i've spent the last few weeks actually tidying this car up a little bit um so i had um if you saw in the la the previous videos the uh the back box had fallen off so um i was originally planning on just putting the back box onto it but once we got it up on the ramp the rest of the exhaust system had just been bodged together so I, um, it's had a full stainless steel exhaust system made from the cat back. Um, and then I've added a back box to it. So it's a little bit quieter now. And, um, yeah, when we had it up on the ramp, the front dry, uh, passenger side wheel bearing was absolutely shagged. Um, obviously it's got like really excessive camber on it. So, um, I think it's just totally knackered the wheel bearing. Um, so um, yeah, I moved the wheel and it was just like literally sh I could shake the wheel around with the disc as well um, And it was like <laughs> Not far from falling off basically so um, Stuck a new wheel bearing in that I've stuck two new front tires two new tires on the front So it's got new, two new Bridgestone pretenders on the front because both sidewalls collapsed on the front um, basically because the tire there's just ridiculous camber Um so yeah, so and then after I had the wheel bearing done, I actually took it to get four wheel alignment to get all the camber taken off it and put it back to a standard road car. We got it there and the front wishbones have actually been chopped and extended to push the bottom of the wheel out to give it that, that like really me mega camber. Um, so we couldn't do the four wheel alignment. Um, I put so we and you just ended up just chucking it all back together. Um, and then on the way home, it started playing up um it was boost cutting like mad uh, so i just stuck it back to stock boost pressure just totally removed the boost controller and just bypassed it basically so um and it ran okay for for a week or so um and then yesterday i got in it to try and go and clean it out basically for the new buyer and it was just doing the same again which is absolutely typical um i took all the engine cover off and everything and basically the um it has three coil packs so they share like um they have like a coil pack and then an ignition lead going to another spark plug so like it, each coil does two cylinders and um the front two had bolts in but were loose and rattling around and then the back one just had no bolt in it and it was just totally loose and then all the clips that hold the ignition lead to the coil pack were just not connected at all um so the the ignition leads were plugged in but they were just loose and um i thought oh that's got to be the problem so i stuck it all back together um bolted it down put a new bolt in the back and um put all the clips on the ignition leads i thought oh it's got it's got to have sorted it um and it ran a lot better while it was cold but then once it got warm it was just doing the same again so i thought it's got to be the coil packs um so I stuck new coil packs on it this morning and it runs absolutely perfect. It's running the best it's ever ever run. But um, yeah, I've sold it to a guy called Craig Weston and he run, he runs a company called Violent D. He actually had a really nice four-door R34 with a 1JZ in it before um, that he drifted, but it was really clean at the same time. So the car's going to a really good home and I'm glad that I found somebody that's going to look after it because I, I really, really, really wanted to get this car like back up to standard and drive it. But it, unfortunately, unfortunately, it's just not the right time. Um, basically, what's happened is I, I left my job as a, um, I was working as like a roadside technician. So um, for a recovery company. So I like they'd send me out as a mechanic basically to try and fix stuff at the side of the road before that it got recovered. And I absolutely loved the job, but the pay was absolutely horrendous. And um, 
yeah, the hours were really bad. Like I was doing, um, I would do four days where I was just permanently on. So um, you just had to be on call the whole four days. So sometimes you could be working like 18, 18 19 hours in a row without a break. And um, it just got to the point where it just wasn't worth it for the money. And uh, I, so I started another job as a delivery driver and um that was working nights delivering and basically i just um it was five nights a week and the hours were just totally fucking me up like i just couldn't get used to working nights that many nights in a row like with the other job it wasn't too bad because like sometimes you'd get a bit of a break and you could have a little bit of a sleep in between and things and um yeah but this just totally knacking me up and i was driving and i kept like drifting off while i was driving and it was just a matter of time before i was gonna fucking crash or something so um and i yeah so i just like I, I left the job luckily i actually for the like the last eight years i've worked two part-time jobs so i work as like a delivery driver and a carer um so i've just picked more hours up on those jobs at the moment but unfortunately it's not enough to run like three mad cars so um so yeah basically what i've done is um sold both of these cars and i've just got the r32 skyline left um so yeah this is the crown's getting picked up tomorrow and the civic went yesterday um, so currently without a car, I'm not sure what's going to replace it, but whatever it's going to be, it's going to be something fairly economical. Um, probably some, I, I, I want it to be something that I can still mess around with a little bit like the Micra. Um, just some it fun that I can modify and it not be too, um, yeah, too bad on fuel. Um, just until I sort stuff out, because obviously I'm working as a, as a delivery, delivery driver. I need something a little bit economical as well. Um, I have actually been delivering in a, an old EP um, for a while, that, um, but I've sold that now, so I, I do need to replace it. Um, but yeah, that's where I'm at. It's, it's not the best situation, because I really would have liked to have sorted the crown. I think realistically i don't think the civic would have stayed uh, i i really like the really like the civic but i think i would have just had to pump too much money into it to get it to a stage where i would have been happy with it um but yeah i would have liked to, to keep the crown and actually get it roadworthy so that i could drive it because it gets so much attention everywhere it goes it's ridiculous like everybody looks at it and like comes and over, comes over and asks what it, what it is um and it's just yeah super cool car i really love it but um yeah i'll just jump out i'll show you around it now and show you i'll show you the exhaust that i've put on it um so that's um that's the exhaust i went with it's a uh, full system you can see all the way down it goes all the way back they've actually done a really good job of it and um yeah that's currently how the car sits it pretty much looks exactly the same as when i got it but um it is actually a little bit better to drive now <laughs> um but yeah that's the last last view of the crown it looks super cool <laughs> it's such a nice car but um yeah i'll catch in um i catch up with it tomorrow when when he comes to get it i'll do a little update and um yeah hopefully won't be too long before i have a new car so um craig's just on the way to pick up his, uh, the crown now as you can see i've given it a little bit of a wash it's actually starting to look a little bit tidier um gave it a good clean out so inside um it needs a proper good detail really um yeah it could could really do with like the carpets wet back in um i've taken the impulse steering wheel out because um i wanted to keep that and then yeah it's starting to look a little bit tidier i've given it a good clean inside the doors and everything um carpet just needs wet back in really it's it's really stained because it's had no mats in the front um back's looking a bit better um the mats could do with a wet vac as well to be honest it, it, it isn't actually stained that that is the pattern of the mats um it just looks a bit <laughs> it looks like somebody spilt bleach on it but it is actually the the pattern pattern the mats are meant to be i think and um yeah i gave a gave the seats a good wipe down that's why they're a little bit wet still um but yeah it's a bit tidier um hopefully he'll like it i'm i'm really hoping that he um that he does because yeah it would be good to see it going um go to somebody 
that's going to look after it. Um, but yeah, that's the that's the end of the crown, unfortunately. Um, yeah, it's a really cool car. Uh, I wish I could have kept it longer, but um, yeah, these things happen. Yeah, so Craig, Craig's just been and picked the car up. Um, he seems pretty happy with it. Like, uh, I think he thought it was in better condition than he originally thought. So that's always good. And um, yeah, at the moment I'm just going to pick up my daily <laughs> back. Um, I've, I've left my daily at my parents' house, so I'm just going there to pick it up now. And um, yeah, if you want to keep up to date with the crown i'll drop a link to craig's business page down below he does like vinyls and graphics and uh like race car liveries and stuff if you want to um go check him out and um yeah i'm just gonna go pick up my daily now but um i'm away for uh, a week so there's probably not going to be another video next week but when i get back there is um yeah when i get back there's going to be uh, a couple of features. I've, I've lined up another f a couple of features to film when I get back and um, yeah they're gonna be awesome so make sure you watch out for that. Um, but yeah I'm just gonna go pick up my daily now. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.